cattle grazing and weed management. We're going to debunk here the problems with what everybody is talking about in regards to cattle and methane and carbon sequestration. Now cattle produce a lot of biomass through their manure and to feed any square metre you need, well, on a hectare basis, you need roughly 91 tonnes to have the most fertile soils in the world. And this is why you require 7 million worms. To feed 7 million worms, you need the biomass. So it's not the animals that are the problem. In fact, millions of wildebeest can travel all over Africa. Yet, here on any land in the world, they're saying that two or three hundred head of cattle are the problem. Or multiple cattle farms are the problem. When it isn't. What the problem is, is that the gut of the animal is struggling and therefore the nutrients and bioavailability in the ground is struggling. What we've found here at Earth Love Global is that in any landscape that is trying to grow, there is actually beneficial fungis and bacteria that are missing on the plants and therefore weeds pop up as you can see there's weeds in this area now this is a sure sign to us here at earth love global that there is beneficial fungi that are missing from the plants in this area and that's why the weeds are here now when we put those beneficial fungi and bacteria back in you start to grow quite dense nutrients in plants then the animals become healthier not only that you start to obtain a higher yielding better productivity and more availability for food for your animals so one major key step is your beneficial fungi that aren't connected to the plants and this is due to poisoning, uh, not understanding by planting out pastures with, get this, most seed coatings are anti-fungi properties. So you plant out a new pasture with an anti-fungi property and that goes through and sterilizes your soils, which then your weeds pop up which then, there isn't any fungi on the plants, so the land struggles to grow. This is one of the major issues, right across the board. We're finding these fungi and bacteria are not here on our land, and not, and this is across all industries, mind you, this is, in all industries that are growing plants in soil, including nurseries, agriculture, right across the board. So why is the fungi so important? Well, to feed worms, and in particularly seven million worms, you need fungi and bacteria. That's it. So, when your fungi and bacteria is missing, the weeds show up. Now, this is to produce carbon. Carbon helps to feed fungi and bacteria, but the fungi and bacteria are no longer there. To get them back in, you need to apply it onto some seeds that you apply out into the field. And this is where Earth Love Global comes in. We come in to ecosystems that are struggling, farmers, commercial growers, and we help to re-establish what's missing 
and these are 460 million year old fungi. Getting these back in on your plants will traverse your land by hundreds of years, producing bigger biomass, faster growth, faster decomposition of your manures that are dropping on the ground, and all your biomass that's sitting on top of your ground, that breaks down a lot quicker, producing new growth in any landscape. This field is just about to be applied. They've been struggling for quite some time. So if you would like your land and your crops, no matter if it is pastures for cattle, pastures for horses, agriculture, growing crops across broad acre land, or anything that's natural, then contact the Earth Love Global team today. We're here to help you to restore your ecosystems naturally, effectively and efficiently, and to debunk the problems with cattle in fields and biomass. We are the specialists in Australia for humus solutions. Contact the Earth Love Global team today for more information.